Hello everyone, this is Karan here. Welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I'm back with a new video and today we're gonna make a review of latest build of MSM Extended Custom Room which is based on Android 10 and available for Redmi Note 8. Wait, let me show you. This is based on Android 10 as you can see and also you got the security patch of 5th of April 2020 which is the latest security patch with the kernel version of hashtag gingo stay at home etc so what are the things working what are the new things you get here what are the bugs google camera geekbench score everything in this video so make sure you watch this video till the end let's get quickly straight to the video so okay as always i will start with the home screen by default launcher which you get here is a launcher there are a lot of options like home settings, widgets, organized screen and wallpapers. You had a lot of options to, config, to configure your home screen, configure your setup. Launcher is the default launcher which you get here. You have a lot of options to customize your device like theme, desktop, home widget, dock, app drawer and a lot of things here. I have used a custom icon pack like um, viral. So you can use, try out this icon pack if you want to. Swiping right, you don't get anything and quick setting panels are same like other rooms and you have the option to only reset these quick setting tiles, don't get any option to customize these tiles from here but there are a lot of extra tiles available if you want to add these tiles to your quick settings panel like gaming mode option is available too, data saver, dark theme, screencast and a lot of options that are there at all also. So by default the camera which you get here is ANX camera. This is the by default camera which you get here like this one. This is like MIUI stock camera. Ultra pixel 48 megapixel cam is perfectly working. This one is zoom one which is working whenever you click on macro. This one is not working. So this is again still a bug which is not solved. And whenever you again open it will not open like still can't connect to camera try restarting your device we will not restart it what we have to do is simply go here go to app info we have to clear the data of this camera app after that relaunch this camera app again and then you can simply click photos which are working perfectly and if you want to try out this one too ultra wide angle is not working too so there are these bugs are available and okay if you want to try out google camera on a device i'm using google camera 7.3 by parrot which has a lot of customization options and a lot of good things a very good picture quality in google cam so if you want to try out google camera 7.3 the link is in the description just go and check it out from there okay so let's move on further and let me show you the Geekbench score which you get here. The Geekbench score which you get here is 308 is the single core score and 1265 is the multi core score which is not equal to add pixel experience room but if you want a customize, customizable room in which you want to customize your device then this room you can try out it has a lot of customization options and these numbers matter for you or not that's your choice that's your opinion in my case these numbers matter so this room is not perfect like pixel experience but still there is no lag so if you want to try out then you can try out on your device also so how about how about the performance of pubg i have just installed for some of my subscribers they have they've tried they have to they told me to try out pubg test also I was playing PUBG from some time and I didn't feel any lag so gaming is very smooth if you want to try PUBG on your device. If you want to play PUBG on your device you can simply download this PUBG mobile and download and play this on your device which is working without any lags at all and sorry I don't play PUBG and I have no idea how to play this game but uh, I'm just showing you like the graphics things when we start here i don't get any lags here without any issue any frame drop no frame drop no lags so that's a very good thing this room is good for gaming heating issue is there this phone this in this room your device will heat a lot when playing pubg so with this thing you have to keep in mind like this you can see there's no frame drop etc i'm using this from a lot of time I didn't got any frame drop so that's a very good thing at least 
this is a gaming room or not i don't know and if you want to increase the performance of a pubg room pubg game how you can do that simply go to developer options okay in developer options you have to enable one settings wait let me show you okay this one force 4x msa by enabling this settings you will see proper difference in your gaming this this affects your gaming's graphics and will improve your gaming graphics okay now let's take a look at some other things geekman score i've already shown you google camera nx camera i have already shown you so let's move further and let's take a look at some features of this custom room network and internet connected devices apps and notifications battery etc everything is same battery backup is very good i am using this battery i am using this device from some time and battery backup is very nice i don't play pubg for whole for a lot of time so i cannot say about pubg timing and how much time it use how much battery it consumes while playing pubg so that's what i can't say you smart charging is working or not i have not tried this too so don't complain me about this bug if it has or if it has not okay so let's move on further in display all settings are same screen time out double tap to wake you have the option to customize your themes like theme room option is available you have the option to choose your system theme like light google dark solar is dark choco x pitch black etc whichever you want to try out okay headline body font icon shape status bar icons are everything is same sound storage privacy security accounts in security you don't get any option of face lock which was available in pixel experience but in this room in this build you don't get face lock also so that's another negative point accounts google system and these are the options you get here like languages and input and etc developer options i've already shown you so let's take a look at some room features some extra features like extensions that you only get in msm extended room first of all you have the option to customize your buttons like volume wakers you can choose music control to play you can choose music control audio panel available and these are the things you get here okay back in decor room you have the option of ambient display and i have tried ambient display which is working as you can see so ambient display is working fingerprint is working too lift to check phone hand wave pocket etc animations you have the option of choosing animations like activity open activity close task open and a lot of things to customize like animations battery styles you can choose your battery style and customize your battery style too clock settings you have the option to customize carrier label status logo status bar weather and battery bar these are the option to customize in gestures you have the option of three finger screenshot asp gestures like three button navigation gesture navigation and all everything looks nice everything working perfectly like whenever you click on gesture navigation it is working perfectly you have the option to choose how much area you want to use as a touchable for back gesture and also have the option to hide pill which is working partially in my case and as you can see i have already applied hide pill and as you can see this there is still a space left so if you already hide pill and still a space left then it is not working it's a bug in my case but it's all about preferences so i am not showing me i'm not telling you that this is a bug it's all about preferences okay so you can try out if you want to but i have already shown you that this thing is here so that's why i will choose three button navigation and i that's why i use this room as a three button navigation without full screen gestures i'm using other things like all screens all things are same lock screen you have the option to customize your lock screen ui lock screen weather and lock screen charging info etc hide status bar and fingerprint unlock after a reboot okay navigation bar you can customize like i have enabled navigation bar so i can customize by navi navigation swap swap back and recent navigation bar i can use and i can also choose layout to normal compact left leaning or right leaning whichever i like show arrow keys while typing these are the things i can use to customize my navigation bar notifications you have the option of heads up noisy notifications notification light and uh, these are the things you can customize also the option of edge lighting which is also working perfectly without any issues at all call notification options and at last toast app icon toast menu these are the things you get here and power menu you can customize like you have the option to choose which things you want in your power menu like these things i have enabled these settings and if you want to enable all other settings you can choose from here 
quick settings status bar settings are almost same you have the option to customize how many columns and how many rows you want in your quick settings quick setting header you can customize quick setting footer text you can customize you have the option of brightness slider configurations quick settings blur and all a lot of things are available like status bar a lot of things to customize the status bar like network traffic status bar items 4g icon volt icon also data disabled icon and breathing sms breathing miss call etc at last back we have the option of system settings like wake lock blocker alarm blocker all options are same like other custom rooms where you get a lot of customization options and extra options you have the option of gaming mode rounded corners charging animation dashboard conditions dashboard suggestions etc so these were the things these were the features and i have shown you everything in this video in this review i hope you like it so this was all from today's review thanks for watching goodbye see you in the next video very soon